Hi everyone, this is a video response to Laura Strickland, who is Laura Lulu, or sorry, she calls herself Laura Lulu, um, Little Lulu Scraps here on YouTube. She um, is doing a card challenge giveaway based on her Pinterest boards. And you could go to her Pinterest boards and check out all her different cards, which she um, pinned some really cool ones. And um, I am now a follower because um, I'm working on my card making skills and she had some really cool cards pinned. So um, that was one of the ways and you could make a card, I believe, using one of the styles that she favorites over on Pinterest and um, just let her know which style you were um, making a card after and you could do a video response and show your card and then mail your card to her because she wants to use the cards um, as gifts uh, and when she does racks and swaps etc etc and um, she also wants to have some really nice cards to use for her mother-in-law who I believe is in either a nursing home or a senior facility. So um, anyway, check her out. She's Little Lulu Scraps here on YouTube. And um, I think we have until Monday the 26th to get our submissions in. So here is mine. Um, for the base of my card, I actually recycled um, some chipboard that came in a package from work. And um, it's really good quality, uh, not chipboard, but I don't know, maybe it is chipboard. I don't know. Anyway, it's really good quality paper. So whenever we get packages in at work and um, they have it in there, I always like grab them and take them home and people are kind of looking at me strange like what is she doing but it's not their business what I'm doing with it you know it's legal so anyway um, that's what I use for the base and I think this measures just under I'm not even gonna lie to you it's big um it's big enough that my whole six by six sheet of paper fits on it. Um, the paper background is from a stack from Walmart that was $3.97. It was a 6 by 6 paper pad and it um, I love the vintage look of the roses. Um, vintage was my style that I chose by the way. There's a Tim Holtz um, dress form that I used my Big Shot to um, cut out from his one of his dies and then I used some Dollar Tree lace that I found years ago and I put um, I smudged it with some color box ink um, the wings are also from a Tim Holtz die and I used music paper no not music paper um I use script paper for those and when you're standing up that way you don't see it as much but when I tilt it I um cut those out and then I stickled them so and then I also stickled the roses to look like um, dew drops I did some inking along the edges of the card as well as the uh, paper there are some various flowers from different places and I've inked them and stickled them there's a little um, shoe that was actually a button and I popped the back of it off. I hope it doesn't fall off. I hope I use glossy accent so I hope it stays on there. Um, there's some trim. There's some beaded trim here and um, I hope the beaded trim stays because I don't know what the secret is by putting this beaded trim on stuff. I used a hot glue gun and I stung my fingers and I ended up with some glue globs that I kind of cleaned up and I don't know if there's a secret to putting this beaded trim on stuff someone please let me know I would greatly appreciate that and then I put some more of the the lace on the edges and again I swatted um ink all over them so that's the outside and I'm trying to open it carefully so the charm doesn't fall off 
And then on the inside, um, I stamped thank you. And I used another piece of paper from the um, paper stack. And it looks like uh, notebook paper. And it already had a vintage tint to it, kind of like a wood grain distressed tint. And then I went over it with um, some more of the pink ink. Um, and I, this is chalk ink, by the way. So that is my card. And it's very sturdy because it's uh, off of whatever that cardboard, real chipboard, whatever it is. And um, then on the back, I just did my little stamp so they'll know it was me. And there you go. So I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.